here we are at the airport roughing it tonight see if I survive so it's always been a bit of a bucket list thing for me to do an airport all-nighter just to see if I can really unfortunately I've got like a big flare right now with uh, one of my illnesses which is gonna make it a bit harder I think but it's in like 11 hours I think my flight so should manage yeah it was just some guy talking beside me but yeah I mean I think it should be fine I am obviously feeling quite tired but I've stayed a bit for longer than this before I'm pretty sure I'll manage like the adrenaline will keep me going either that or I'll be stuck here for the rest of my life I'm feeling a wee bit defeated already. Just uh, sitting on the bathroom floor. Um, apparently, nothing opens at all until 3 a.m. So everything's shut now. So, what sort of fucking airport is this? Like, it's only 10 p.m. Oh, fucking. Oh, I hate London. And I especially hate, like, every airport in London that's not Heathrow. But I hate London anyway. So, yeah, I'm a little bit defeated. I just had to take my medication with like disgusting tasting like London tap water from the bathroom. Oh Jesus. Bad times, bad times. But bad times create strong men. So much to my delight, I managed to find some vending machines. So I got a bottle of water and another packet of crisps. It's like the fourth packet of crisps I've had in like the past couple of hours. That's my dinner tonight. Yay. Oh, I still do feel a bit hungry. Um, and I'm really, really tired. There's been a few times where I nearly fell asleep. Uh, I was reading my new book um, and I just feel my eyes going like, you know. And it's a good book. It's not like it's boring or anything. It's about um, like the history of how languages came about and like how they were written and stuff like that some interesting stuff about the first known language called Sumerian and also about Egyptian hieroglyphs which is so cool so yeah it's like I'm going through waves of like having a little bit of energy and then just being like totally dead I think that's quite normal for like all nighters anyway but I'm considering maybe trying to have a little nap I've got alarms set like every hour on the hour um, I have seen some other people sort of, I'm not sure if they're sleeping or if they're just lying with their eyes shut but um, you know I mean I think it's unlikely that anyone here is gonna like try and take anyone's stuff because I think we're all kind of like fucked here. <laughs> also like there's police walking about every so often but I've seen them like twice and I've not seen them for the past 45 minutes or so so well I've not done anything wrong anyway so I got myself some smart water and posted an absolute um, knee slapper on Twitter saying like <laughs> I hope this water makes me smart enough to never do this again <laughs> always laugh at my own jokes I mean, I'm, I'm funny as hell so what can I say thankfully I've had some um, good bead chats with quite a few people actually to sort of keep me going and I'm like oh my god you guys should be asleep <laughs> I think one of them did fall asleep uh, but he lives in Romania so he's like two hours ahead which is chill I guess but yeah, I think it's like 20 past 1 at this point. It's just like an hour and 40 until, in theory, um, security and stuff opens so that I can go through the main concourse. I don't know when like restaurants and stuff will open, probably like 4 or 5. Um, but yeah, God, I'm just hoping that I don't get, you know, the hungry brain where you end up just like spending way too much money on food because I get that sometimes. So. Yeah, I'm going to try to be sensible because I already had to spend quite a lot of money on like transport and stuff in London, which sucks. But what can you do? <laughs> it's 3am, which is when security is supposed to open, but it doesn't seem to be opening yet. I can see like staff coming in, so it must be soon, but I don't know. <laughs> I just want to stop saying you. I have to like a few walks around the terminal and stuff, but... I mean, honestly, like, I actually think I'm going to lose my mind in a minute. Also, I read online that the restaurants don't open until like 4 or 5 and oh my god, I'm so hungry. This is it. This is how it ends. So, we threw security boys, but now I think that I'm stuck here because duty free is not open yet. 
and it seems that that's the only way you can get into like the actual main departure lounge so <sighs> more waiting around more waiting around love that love that so i was able to walk around to the departure lounge but everything's shut so i'm just gonna sit for a bit because i really really need to like eat something fairly soon <laughs> Being said, I actually do think that I'm handling this pretty well, like better than I expected. Because like I'm definitely tired and obviously with like my flare up as well, it's not been the greatest time ever, but I think I'm doing okay. And like one of the first times ever at this airport I got through security without getting like patted down and everything, so that was cool. Because I usually do. So, as you can see, I made it home, finally. Um, I've actually been home since like this morning, but um, I was so tired, I literally just well, I had to have a little shower and then I just fell asleep like immediately. <coughs> and I slept for, I think, like two hours and then I woke up briefly and then went back to sleep for another like six, seven hours. So, oh my God, it's like, the tiredness was like next fucking level. Um, all in all, all in all, I do not recommend the airport all nighter. Um, like I said earlier, um, it was on my bucket list to like try it once, but I'm not gonna do it again unless I like absolutely have to. Like if I'm traveling and I get like an amazing flight deal that's got like an overnight layover or something, um, then I guess I would do it then. But other than that absolutely fucking not like it was just too much i think my appointment the next time is um a little bit early on in the day so i'll maybe be able to, i'll maybe be able to just get a flight back that night hopefully but yeah basically um that whole experience just it made me see life in a different way honestly like by the time i was walking home i was like actually like borderline hallucinating with like how tired I was like I don't know my eyes were like having trouble focusing and everything like I don't know I, mean, I think I've stayed awake for longer than 30 hours before but that's when I've been like a little bit like manic like not very well in the head so I guess it affected me differently whereas right now I'm like pretty stable pretty normal so I guess I felt the effects of no sleep like the same way as like a normal person would Oh, oh my god, like, nah. Oh, it was so bad. So bad. And I actually still feel quite tired. As you can see. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I've got some stuff to do though before I go to sleep tonight. Because I think I will sleep again tonight. But I'll catch up, you know. <laughs> but yeah, it's got some work to do and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I hope you enjoyed that experience more than I did. Um, and yeah, see you again soon.